Good morning. So we had some great conversation interacting with each other about the conversation um, surrounding midwifery schools and do I pursue CNM versus CPM programs and um, it was it was a great healthy discussion both on Facebook and Instagram. So I just wanted to follow up with a video to just send some encouragement and motivation to aspiring midwives because it's not impossible to do um, to go back to school when you're a full grown adult <laughs> with a full a full family and and grown up responsibilities. It's not an impossible thing. Yes, it's hard. It's challenging. It's difficult. But it's something that you can do. You can do it. If I did it, you can do it. Um, and then as far as which route to take, you know, you just have to decide which route is the best for you. Of course, I'm biased. So I feel like CNM um, programs are, um, will give you the best bang for your buck in the long run. Um, and it's very, it's a very, you know, your MSN degree in midwifery is very versatile. You can work in many, many places and many settings. Um, and you can either be on the side of birth or the other side of birth. You know, you can be um, educators. You can do so much with your MSN degree that that's why I um, always encourage my uh, women to, I encourage aspiring midwives to go the CNM route. Now, is it wrong to do anything? No, it's not wrong. Whatever route you decide to take is nothing wrong with it. And this is not a discussion to, um, to you know identify one being the better over the other um but respectfully we all have our own opinions and in my opinion i feel like um nurse midwifery school is the route to go especially if you are looking for more of a structured program that kind of puts everything together for you um i do realize there are challenges and barriers as to everything um one being money one being um, support of persons to kind of help you through the program. Um, I, financial aid is all I can tell you. Uh, I am I have financial aid debt that I will be paying for for years to come. Um, but without the financial aid, I would not have been able to pursue um, the educational goals for, that I set for myself. So you know, I don't have I didn't have a hundred thousand dollars to in my bank account to pay cash for a midwifery program. Like that's not realistic for most people. Um, but financial aid, getting into a program that's accredited and accepts financial aid is a great idea. Uh, yes, it's a more expensive route than the CPM route. However, I know a lot of CPM uh, midwives who have invested a lot of extra time and money into their journey um, of becoming a midwife via the CPM route. So both routes take money. You know, you have to um, invest some money into it or get in a little debt to achieve some goals, unfortunately. If you don't, great, <laughs> good for you. Um, but I did want to just encourage everyone to continue to um, have the conversations about midwifery schools and programs and sharing information with each other, um, sharing contacts and, and um, info that would be helpful to people um, trying to pursue midwifery. Um, again, I was a, a mom, a wife. Um, I'd had another baby. I worked two jobs um, all while I was going into all, all while I was pursuing my, in my program. So it wasn't easy. It was difficult. And would I do that again? Probably not, but that doesn't mean you can't do it. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking, but you know, once you make your mind up that you're going to do something, you do it, you know, you're full steam ahead. And that's the other point I want to make is, you know, be unapologetic about it. Okay. Screw it. You know, give yourself the time you need to pursue the dreams that you're trying and the goals you're trying to achieve for yourself, okay? All right. So I wanna talk just a little bit about distance learning programs. They are the adult learner's best friend. So if you are a busy mother, a busy working woman um, with a whole bunch of, you know, grown up bills <laughs> and jobs to get to, et cetera, if you live a very busy life, um, distance learning is probably something you strongly want to consider, especially when going to midwifery school. 
I was so grateful for that option because I knew that going to a classroom and sitting in a class for an hour, four times a week, you know, physically getting up and that wasn't going to work for me. <laughs> I was, I had too much going on. So the thought of me having to do that um, was, was very discouraging. So when I found out that there were online programs for midwifery, I was on it. I was sold. I was like, yes, this is the, this is the way for me to go. I had not had any experience in distance learning, but you know, it didn't matter because I was able to discipline myself, um, tailor my classes and study times around my lifestyle. I knew that my brain did not turn on till about three o'clock in the afternoon. And that's when I was most efficient, um, and could absorb most information. Um, so, you know, I was able to, to, um, to be able to be a good student and, and study effectively because I was able to tailor it to myself and my own personal study practices. So that's something I really wanted to talk about because um, you should do that if that's something that, if your lifestyle is very busy, you should really consider distance learning. Um, we, I went to Jefferson University, so we were required to go onto campus for week-long intensive workshops for our clinicals and pre preparing for our clinicals, um, maybe twice or three times dur during the program. And that was a nice time because you were able to uh, meet your classmates, meet your professors, have conversations face-to-face -face, and have your hands-on skills um, um, workshops. So it was fun. It was fun to be able to travel to Philadelphia um, a couple times during the program and kind of fellowship with the other students who were just like me. Everyone was an adult with children and wives and mothers and working professional women, you know? So it wasn't like that was not the norm. It actually was the norm. It was the majority of our class was uh, were women who were even changing their profession. You know, they were, they were making changes in their careers and, you know, look just like me. So it's not impossible to do. It's a great option and there are a few, um, I posted the few programs that are available that people should be, you should really look into and see what best fits you. Um, but yeah, I wanted to give you all that tidbit about learning, distance learning and online learning programs. The only challenge that was probably the most challenging, the only thing that was the most challenging about distance learning programs is that you do have to find your own preceptor. And luckily, I was fortunate enough to have my own preceptor already lined up before I even entered my program. So if you're interested in being, you know, become going into midwifery school, start looking for your preceptors now. I know that the bigger university programs, they have it, they kind of have it sold up. You know, they have all the big hospitals and contracts with them where, you know, they kind of restrict other schools from having their students at those facilities. Um, that's a thing, <laughs> unfortunately. But start looking for a preceptor now, find a mentor, find some people who you can connect with to see who would be willing to be your preceptor. Um, and you start that search ASAP because it's really hard to get a preceptor. Some people have to travel to other cities and, and states for preceptorship. So um, yeah, that's probably the most challenging part of the program is really being able to um, have a consistent preceptor that kind of helps you through the entire program. So that's my opinion. <laughs>